Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, so last time uh, we did a little bit of exploring in um, uh, the Ement Dome. Uh, we did a little bit of questing. I was hoping to uh, get to Alexandria uh, last stream, but there's a lot of content to get through before that. Um, yeah, as I've been saying, um, uh, I want to level up my character as I go. Uh, I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty, so it's uh, almost a requirement to not be too many levels behind at least. So let's get cracking. Oh, I got the Sun Slayer. I think that's a reward for the Trial of the Gods, but uh, I haven't played any of that. Let me just Google that real quick. The Sun Slayer is probably the best weapon in the game. It is unlocked by becoming a contributor of defeating gods for a minimum number of times. Yeah, maybe that's because I played it on my other save. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I'll take it. Okay, so it's sort of, yeah, it unlocks at the level you're at. That's handy. Then I will surely equip it. <laughs> So as you see, it has a pretty high crit hit rate and uh, combo multiplier and health for critical. That's very handy, at least uh, at this low level. There's also a golden perk called um, uh, health for hit. That's more useful, I find, but I mean, the crit rate is high. So uh, uh, it is actually 50%. All right. Um, yeah so let's get let's get cracking we are doing the lady of slaughter so let's uh, return to uh, Menahat. Uh oh yeah that's right we have to um, we have to find uh, his champion called pamu he uh, plays um, uh, Sekhmet I think he's called the Egyptian god, the Egyptian lion god, I believe. So let's go find him. He's uh, at the tavern. I think this is just the uh, an entrance. Yeah. trying to get him to leave for hours all right let's get him back where he belongs Let's give him a wake up bath as well. And if you're wondering, he can't drown. I've tested this before. <laughs> I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah, enough goofing around. Let's get him uh, back. I think my Trial of the Gods reward is a little weird because uh, if it was from the previous uh, save then I should have gotten all the rewards so that's weird but again I'll take it <laughs> I'm not complaining Passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This 
is a disaster. People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight. If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi. You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. All right. Time for us to put on the show. Your Holiness, I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu. He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I have to pay a bit, bit of attention here. <laughs> it's a little bit of a difficult fight, this I forgot. At least on uh, nightmare difficulty. But nothing we can't handle. Ooh. Let's try this again. I'm trying to time the dodges right to get um, my overpower meter to immediately refill, but uh, the timing uh, on the nightmare difficulty is really tight. So let's try this once more. So let's see if we can also keep our uh, combo going. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. Hopefully I can get him this time. Maybe I can stun lock him? Alright, look at this. Is 
So I need to hit him uh, once with the heavy attack to break his shield and then uh, <coughs> spam him with uh, light attacks. Let's see if we can get him stun locked again. Oh, gotta be careful. Right, okay. I see now. Oh, the game is being uh, nice to me. It uh, it removes a little bit of uh, Isfet's health each time I die. That's nice of the game. That was just bad. Nothing to it. I could swear you were the blood eater herself. Ah, no, the priest's recounting of the battle between the goddess and Isfet was <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yamu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer, but I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so. They'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu, whenever your journeys bring you to our gnome. That's nice to hear. Keep the mask and staff of the goddess as poor tokens of our respect. And we get the Sehmet out of it. Very nice. Alright, so I have to prioritize. Um, I do want the smoke screen. Uh, and yeah, I already unlocked the sleeping darts. That's good. Alright, so let's get uh, let's get the smoke dart, uh, smoke screen. And I also want this. This is really uh, handy for knocking bigger enemies uh, off their feet. Which I definitely want to unlock as quickly as possible. Uh, the Sahmet costume. A costume worn during the reenactment of the battle between Sahmet and Isfet, held as part of Yamu's festival. Uh, again, I think I will still wear Bayek's outfit for a bit, uh, just because it fits the um, fits the uh, story of the game. Uh, and we had a few other quests to complete here. The Book of the Dead. Let's go get it. So I might pick up the daily quests, if not do them. Actually, we might stumble across the quest. Oh, get the materials. That's nice. I already have it. Sweet. 20 or 20 soft leather. Let's give it to him. Ah, yes, of course. I never doubted it. What do we get? The bone cracker level 11. <clears throat> 
So let me actually check on my gear. I do have the second slot unequipped, or I mean unlocked. <clears throat> yeah, I want a sword <clears throat> in my uh, main hand. And actually maybe one of these. Or maybe the dual swords. Yeah, I want the dual swords there quick and you can uh, with the heavy attack you can close the distance really quickly between you and the enemies. I don't want the um, heavy blunts, they're too slow for my liking. So let's now go to uh, <coughs> fetch the Book of the Dead for Becca. through the poor di <coughs> poor di district it seems like Actually, whenever you see trees in the desert, it's a good idea to go over there. There's usually uh, loot and silica. Is there anything here? No. I believe the trees have to um, have to have. Um, what do you call it in English? Leaves, that's the word I'm looking for. They have to have uh, leaves on them. I growing him. I did hit him a couple of times. Whoa. Ah, screw you. <laughs> So I'll try to be as sneaky as I can. I only have three sleep darts, but with judi judicious use, um, I think I'm able to clear this area. Let's find out. I think there are some inside the cave also. Can I maybe tag them? Oh, almost missed him. All right, how to approach this? Ooh, yeah, come over here. You did hear something. Mm. What in sets things going? Oh, did they wake up? Oh, I can snatch him anyway. Now the question is, will he go back to sleep? Oh, 
I was debating myself whether I should bum rush him or drag him into the uh, bushes. And he nearly spotted me. So we successfully got the Book of the Dead. This is Pekka's Book of the Dead. It will guide him safely through the duet and reunite him with his deceased wife in the field of reeds. All right. Now to return the book to the old man. Mobari, I am sending a parcel your way. It contains dozens of books of the dead that we've stolen. You are to find their owners and demand a high price to have them returned. But do, but do it discreetly. We don't want the temple priests finding out about this. Oh, so it's a scam. So let's just uh, fast travel back. Or maybe actually we should uh, go unlock this fast travel point. Sounds like a good idea. And let's steal a horse, why not? Should I tangle with these guys? Yes, I should. That went pretty smoothly, I think. So, um, yeah. Um, when the animals are uh, like this one, four levels under us, we can't angle with them. They're dangerous at my level, and um, if there's a whole pack of them, that can be really dangerous. Alright, so what can we upgrade? Oh, the tool pouch. Yes, please. That's excellent. So what do I need to upgrade anymore? We need more uh, pelts, more soft leather and hard leather, cedar wood and hard leather, soft leather and bronze, and bronze and some uh, carbon crystals. Okie dokie. So I won't go out of my way to uh, gather materials, I'll just uh, collect them uh, as I go. And uh, I forgot to mention something at the beginning of the stream. Um, I have ordered a camera for my PlayStation 5, so hopefully next stream I'll be able to, to show my face as well for those interested. I looked everywhere, and there was no light. Then I looked towards the king, my lord, and there was light. We should continue through the sand with the barge. He'll guide us. Interesting. A uh, <laughs> ship in the middle of the desert. So the entirety of Egypt is now open for exploration, um, but uh, all areas are level-gated, uh, so we, we can explore everything, uh, I guess, uh, but we're way too under level to do much about it. So I think I will try to unlock all the areas as we go. Uh, birthright, I believe this quest sends us to this location. I believe. Let's find out.
But first, let's uh, turn in this quest. Sorry to disturb your sleep, ma'am. Has your father left us? His good life is over. He was too weak to live till you return. May he be conducted in peace. He was in despair that his cow would not join my mother's. Where is his body? It is not too late. You are a blessing from the gods. He receives the rites in this small temple. May the field of reeds be open to you, father. <laughs> I'll miss my father's kindness. <laughs> May the field of reeds be open to you, father. So I believe <clears throat> I misremembered. Uh, the birthright quest sends us further towards um, Alexandria. I can't quite remember which quest it is, which sends us uh, to that location. I think it's called um, Maftor of Hathor, I believe. In any case, let's uh, bring the book to the old man. Becca was his name, I think. side so that's that done with let's go get get this quest Bayak notices three corpses laid out carelessly in Yamu's mummification temple. The head embalmer tells him the story of Iris, the young woman who brought them in. Bayak sees three corpses laid out carelessly in Yamu's mummification temple. The temple's head embalmer explains that Iris, the young woman who brought them in, lives on a small farm half buried in the desert. On learning that her family was slaughtered, Bayek decides to help her. All right, so let's let's go speak to the head embalmer. It is a shame to see three dead left neglected. What happened? They were just brought here, Magi. A family struck down by the sword. Only the daughter Ira survived. She carried them here one by one. Poor girl. All by herself now. A tragic story. Tragic indeed. Where is she now? You can find her on the abandoned date farm near the road where her family died. This Ira sounds like a woman worth meeting. Yeah, so I don't think any quest sends us here. So let's just go explore it. And if a quest does send us there, no worries. We can explore a location twice. That is not a problem. Ah, no, I misremembered. I'm talking about uh, those ruins. That's just a stone circle. Excellent.
And then in any case, that place is uh, in uh, Kensu Nomi, which we are not ready to explore. Let me just see, now I am level 11, almost 12. So yeah, we are almost able to explore it, but uh, I would like to uh, go to Alexandria as soon as possible to progress the uh, main story a little bit. Just. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong and hunt like you do. You are already better with your weapons than many men. You will make a fine Magi, son. Like Mum says, may your victories multiply. The Divine Lion, the powerful one. Her breath formed the desert. Fiercest of hunters. She leads the armies of the Pharaoh into battle. So this is the Divine Lion. And you see he picks up a single rock from each of these locations. Where to now? I would also like to explore the lake uh, around the... Uh, or, uh, I mean, in the middle of Alexandria and Yamu. Uh, let's actually start with the uh, viewpoint and work our way up. And actually, I will try to avoid. Um, I will try to avoid going into another area, uh, not getting it defogged. Just for uh, what do you say? Just for uh, the sake of um, sake of. Not cleanliness, but uh, like orderliness, I guess is the word. Yeah, we need two for the smoke screen damage. Okay, I'll hold off using an ability point. <clears throat> hey, what? A single bandit, let's get him. So if you remember, this is uh, where we um, rescued Claudius. And there's another, um, actually, uh, chain of quests that I want to unlock here as well. Which you sort of stumble onto. 
when you're here. The taste of the first thing. I should investigate. Yes, this has suggested level 17, but uh, uh, I can at least uh, do the investigation here. So, Bayek finds a disturbing scene of death and decides to keep his eyes open for more clues. Bayek discovers signs of a gruesome killing. It seems to be a profane ceremony. He decides to keep his eyes open and see if he comes across more clues in his travel troubles. <clears throat> so uh, we are to learn more about the uh, murder happening here. Uh, that's happened here. Was this a terrible ceremony? There is so much blood, as if some butchery occurred here. But the elements have eroded many of these signs. This wraps up the message. Ah, it's too much missing. So this is a prayer to Serket. Uh, I speak for the goddess, and the goddess speaks through me. She sits upon my tongue, and my sting is her sting. Her face is the scorpion, and snake, and spider, and I wear her mark. I take her name, for mine was a dull, rusty thing. I do her honor in hopes that she will show me the mysteries. I speak for the goddess, and you speak for me. Well, interesting. This is uh, sounding a little bit cultish. Ah, that's a foot. Yuck. Sekhmet, the goddess of hunters. But there are scratches here, above the statue's stomach. What does it represent? A coffin. Scraps of blood and flesh. There was a body here. The crocodiles must have devoured it. The lid of a sarcophagus. There was a symbol here, but it is too damaged for me to make out. Drop me. If I had more information, I might understand this better. But as he was eaten by a crocodile, I'll keep my eye out for anything else so unusual. So if you see in the uh, quest description, it says one out of four ritual sites, so we have a few more to uh, discover and uh, Explore, which we will naturally do during the course of the, the playthrough. I won't <coughs> go out, out of my way to finish it immediately at level seven, 17. So, let's go grab the viewpoint. And then I think we will uh, head off towards Alexandria, do the, um, do the birthright quest. Alright, so uh, yeah, um, I almost forgot there is a location here to uh, get some uh, loot. <clears throat> the rest I do believe there are crocodiles nearby oh yes let's do try to be a little bit careful at least a 
Alright, let's have a fight. There we go, that wasn't too bad. So the hitboxes on some of the animals I think is a little bit off sometimes. It uh, sure, <coughs> sure looks like we're hitting them, but uh, the arrows don't connect. Expedition notes. Day one. We finally set up camp. We have enough food and materials to last us a few days. Tomorrow we start searching the ruins. There's sure to be an undiscovered part of this old temple. Earlier I heard something rustle in the reeds. Panagem says it's nothing. I hope he's right. Day two. Nothing written. Well, we can all guess what happened here. Somebody got... Uh, or some crocodile got his dinner. There we go. That's how you do it. And uh, yeah, just let's work our way up. Up the map. of your hair. Not to worry. Yarn, excellent. <laughs> Everybody's jumping ship. And what do you have? You have uh, pelts. Let me actually uh, open the cages. That'll make fighting a bit easier. Did I hit all the cages? There went at least one cage. Focus on uh, on the lions. They're way more dangerous. Oh, there's one cage we missed. I gathered as much. Let's go uh, in this lion as well. Actually, let's torch him. If we can hit the oil. There we go. Oops, let me see. Ah, come on now. <laughs> I need to focus. 
No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Water tanks. They are not to be handled with. Unpunished. Yeah, he's at my level. So they dropped, um... Uh, what is this? Uh, I'm blanking on the name. The um, thick skins, which we do need early on in the game for crafting. So let's see what we can find here in the sunken uh, in this sunken location. <coughs> The sunken Desmotarion ship. Just a bunch of loot. And some carbon crystal. Can we change something more now? No, we cannot. Onwards. This uh, ship right up here, that's our next target. Actually, I should um, activate my uh, next quest. Follow me. Got him. Oh, <laughs> I got my torch. There's my sword. Point. Why not? My need is great. So I've been thinking a little bit about it. Um, I actually do want to start streaming Mirage uh, when that comes out in uh, in October. Uh, I won't have been finished with this game, but uh, I don't think I can wait <laughs> to play it. So I might just play that blind. Uh, personally, I don't really like blind playthroughs myself. I like to watch people uh, who really know games play them. Um, so I won't make it a let's play, I think, but I will stream. So this is the island called Dead Men Tell No Tales. Let's go get some... Uh, get ourselves some loot here. Somebody died. Cephatus tax collectors are looking for you. Take your things and flee. You'll find a boat at the edge of the island. Be safe. Ooh, there's something in now. Is it a hippo? Oh, that's a proper bad. Oh, 
let's go for a dive. So do I have any better gear now that I do want to use? Oh yeah, ha, <laughs> look at that. The Nubian bow. <clears throat> I do also have the Corrupted Soul, Light Bow, Health for Critical, Charging Speed. Yeah, I definitely want... Uh, I don't remember why I changed to a Hunter Bow. The Light Bows are pretty awesome, I think. It's covered in oil. locations left before we go to the uh, uh, date palm farm to meet up with Iris, <clears throat> the woman who brought the uh, three corpses to the head embalmer in yellow and then we will very soon be arriving in Alexandria which I personally think is a really nice city. I've never been myself, I've uh, never been to Egypt either. But it is a historic city. Named of course after Alexander the Great, the Macedonian conqueror. We're not that far from level 13. That's excellent. Can we aggro these guys? Now, when we upgrade our uh, smoke bombs to the damage, these uh, horse fights will become much easier. We can just uh, stun block the horses so they never run away. Power this guy. One more. There we go. A little bit sketchy, but uh, <clears throat> we made it. <clears throat> Let's find the head honcho. There he is. And let me use a predator bow. Ah, that was bad. I could have gotten, it in, gotten him in one shot. He's flying away. <laughs> Come here. Don't be like that. Soldiers. They must be looking for Iras. Soldiers. They must be looking for Iras. Best lay low. Let's go. Clear of this vulture layer. <laughs> Let's 
I almost aggro the soldiers because of the vulture. No matter. Look, we have four uh, sleeve darts now. That should make things marginally easier. Let's make sure to tag all the enemies so we don't get surprised. I think maybe that might be all. We'll find out. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Let's leave those two. Ooh, let's leave those two as well. Easy. Let's loot this place before moving on. Hail in peace, Iras. All I want is to speak with you. The last man to say so. Murdered my family. I've come to help you, Iras. How do you come to know my name? A priest told me of you. Ah. My kin have owned this land for centuries, but left it barren until now. A soldier came to us, saying his master held a deed of sale. My father refused to concede the property. Then, well, the rest is as you know it. What will you do? The farm is my birthright. I will work it as long as I can. I can ensure you are not harassed by soldiers. You may try. The villa they spoke of lies northwest of here, on the road to Alexandria. Well, a good thing we're going Tell to Alexandria then. Tell the world I died preserving my family's legacy! I do not ask your assistance. I can do this alone. I must carry out my father's dream. I can do this alone. So let's see with uh, which papyrus we have. Uh, yes, this is the one. <clears throat> a few hundred meters northwest of the temple of Sekhmet in Yamu, which resides by Lake Mariotis, there is a great place uh, to go for a date. Full of palm trees and surrounded by desert, one rock fence was built and closed off with no exit. Find me there. This is the uh, uh, this is the little enclosure right about right about here somewhere. <clears throat> there. Let's see what do we get. A hunter bow, <clears throat> a rare hunter bow. Maybe we want that. The obsidian bow. Same quality. Oh yeah, of course it's. Uh, <laughs> I have a legendary light bow. That's right. Yeah, no, I'll keep using my light bow. Thank you very much. And now we do want to visit this little location before we move on. 
towards the villa on our road to Alexandria. Desert bandits are uh, often very hard. There we go. Another stone circle. Sorry, son. The scorpion goddess Serket. She protected Iset and Horus from jealous Set. She still protects against poisonous animals, but not love. And against that, there is no protection. Not even the gods can. Onwards. So we have been going for uh, just about an hour. I will um, end the let's play. This part of the let's play when we get to Alexandria. Which shouldn't be too long. There we see beautiful Alexandria. And uh, there's the uh, military villa. So we are going to find and get information from the master's villa. The villa is north of the date farm. So I don't have any sleep darts left. Uh, we should find some in uh, one of these towers. I hope. And we can let loose a lion in here to help us a bit. Yeah, there's a uh, arrow stand. We can refill our uh, our sleeping darts. And there's one as well. Maybe I'll go for that one. It's, it's, it's closer anyway. I should be cautious around here. <laughs> Let's also go sabotage this um, this uh, radio. Sweet. Now we can get our uh, smokescreen damage. A 
that we were saving the previous um, skill point for, ability point. Him. Let's take out the fear. Okay. <laughs> die, die. Look at this. We can deal with these guys now. Oh, I didn't tag him either. Not a problem. Letter from Sophronius. Ute refuses to give the date farm to me. That yelping Vlakos says by deed of sale is false. He has to die. His family too. Make it seem an accident and will share in the farm's profit. For now, your men can settle in my country villa. Do not think to take advantage of my hospitality. If you aren't on my doorstep in Alexandria in two weeks' time, consider yourself a dead man. Sophronius. Sophronius. Hmm. Alright, find and assassinate Sophronius. Sophronius resides near Alexandria's western gate. So we'll go uh, assassinate him before uh, exploring Alexandria proper. That'll be the first order of business. A hyena. Give me loot. If I remember correctly, there are some bandits up here waiting to ambush us, so let's be a little bit careful. Ambushing, yeah. Now, getting the drop on uh, ambushing enemies is a little bit difficult. Uh, you really can't approach from the front. See, I think I might get him, yes. I mean, at this point, when I'm level 13 and they are level 8, I don't really mind too much fighting them. I'm not that afraid at this level. At least now that I have my awesome, um, awesome uh, smoke bomb damage. Oh. Sun, the shrine to Thoth is dangerous to visit. There are too many bandits who roam the area in these lawless uh, days. Please come, come home at once, all is forgiven. Oh, that's tragic. Thoth, Thoth's prayer. Come to me, Thoth, O noble Ibis. O God who longs for Khmunu. O dispatch writer of the Ennead, the great one of Ulu. Come to me that you may give advice and make me skillful in your office. I am the servant of your house. Let me relate your prowess in whatever land I... These damn hyenas always interrupting me. Let me relate your prowess in whatever land I am. Then the multitude of men shall say, How great are the things that Thoth has done. <clears throat> then they shall come to their children to brand them with your profession, a calling good to the Lord of Victory. 
Joyful is the one who has exercised it. I find uh, most of these messages to be a little bit mysterious. These prayers and invocations. So this is Thoth, the Ibis god. I believe he's the uh, Egyptian god of wisdom, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, yes, we do have a couple of locations to explore, and I totally missed this one. We'll have to go get that also. <clears throat> so yeah, if you couldn't tell, this uh, definitely is a completionist playthrough of Assassin's Creed Origins. <laughs> Leaving no st no stones unturned. Oh, what the hell am I doing? An offering to Sechmet. Sechmet, watch over me. Today I embark on the journey I've long dreamed of, to live among the most magnificent of beasts. I will join a pride of lions on top of the western hill. May my newfound family always be protected. <clears throat> so he's gone to live with the lions. I hope they accept him as one of their own. All right. craft a bit. What can we craft? Health? Yeah, I'll take it. Sweet. We are actually level 13, Alexandra is 9 to 12, so we are well prepared, <clears throat> which is pretty nice. Hippos. Let's do be careful of them. Trying to get the drop on them. At least whittle down some of their health. And now the big guy is escaping. That's not good. Come back. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Andronikos, I am sad to report your chariot was in a horrible accident. I know the pharaohs had blessed it, but I do believe it was charged by a hippo. The horses are missing and your driver 
Archimedios too. I will continue to search for them, but I fear there is nothing salvageable about the situation. Sincerely, Clystenus. Yep, a lot of tragic fates in Egypt. But we got the shield. I have a level one snakes on a shield, which is legendary and which has poison on block. However, I do get a lot more health if I use the wooden shield. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use the wooden shield. Adrenaline on parry. I don't normally parry anyway. Poison on block is not that necessary. No, I'll go with the higher quality uh, regular shield. So I might see if I change my mind about not upgrading any gear. Maybe I'll upgrade every 10 levels or so. Because um, upgrading is really expensive. <clears throat> Then again, I don't really want to farm Hecka chests, so yeah, I might do it. I think we actually are almost able to enter Alexandria. Let's do this location as well. Maybe I should torch these guys. What do you say? I really want to update my tool pouch to uh, have more of these awesome sleeping darts. <clears throat> they really do make life uh, much more easy. Crafting available. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
next level we need some uh, hard leather and more boots. <clears throat> so let's go kill this captain and loot the rest. And now we are finally able to enter Alexandria. Where did my horse go? <clears throat> Let's cut across the... Uh, is called in English? I'm blanking. Beach. That's it. That went fairly smoothly. And I got some bronze. And we can craft quivers, but that requires um, carbon crystals. Mm, yeah. Now our range damage and melee damage are a little bit under level, but that's fine. We will unlock everything in due time. No worries. So actually, uh, before we enter Alexandria properly, I think I will end this uh, Let's Play here. I will continue streaming, but uh, for now this has been uh, Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. We have um, uh, finished clearing out the Ement Nome area of the map. We did some side quests and um, we are now ready to enter Alexandria. Thank you for watching, have a good day, bye bye.